Greetings YouTube, happy Tuesday, and thanks for tuning in to this video where I try to explain in simple math terms why, contrary to popular belief, I think it is terribly unwise to keep spending your hard-earned shards on 10k crystals. Now, this might come as a surprise because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube lately where people are so excited because specifically two champions have been added to the basic pool. Archangel and Iceman, and yeah, there's a couple other god tier champions like Gwynpool and Hyperion that you'd love to pull, but what the average user doesn't realize is twofold. One is that there are now 72 champions in the basic pool, so even if, and I truly don't believe that this is the case, even if we've got an even chance of opening every champion and that there aren't some that you'll get over others, which again, I think is complete BS, you still have only a 1.4% chance of getting that champion. But I truly believe it might be half that. We're talking about 0.7% chance because if anything that I've learned is true, it's that Kabam's algorithm wants you to get champions in the meh tier, in the meme tier, whatever you call it, in the trash can tier. You're far more likely to get an Iron Patriot than you are to get a blade. Why is that? Well, they know, as they said to Seton and others at New York Comic Con earlier this year, they know that they have a tier list themselves and that this algorithm basically uh, has better odds to get the lower tier than the higher tier. And I truly believe this is the case. So, even if you're me, and you're 1 for 12 on featured champions, which is only about 8%, that still is about eight times as likely to get a god tier champion as it is to roll the dice and get what's probably going to be a Black Panther Civil War, a, a Civil Warrior. I've seen a lot of people pull the worst champion that ga they gave me besides Iron Fist. Everybody gets an Iron Fist. Everybody gets an Old Man Logan. Everybody gets an Ant-Man, Iron Patriot, and then, of course, Satan herself in Kamala Khan form. So, my point is, Kabam's going to give you what Kabam's going to give you, but they have to give you, they say it's about 20 to 25% chance, I think realistically for the average player it's more like 10 to 15%, and I'm just on the lower, worse luck side, but you might as well save an extra 5,000 shards, especially since they're becoming more available, and go for champions that will change your roster. Now, I, that's point number three. I don't think you should just go for any... 5-star champion you like. In fact, 95% of the champions that go into featured don't get. You should only get champions that are going to change the game and make certain uh, champions easier to defeat. For example, if you go for Blade like I did and I saved up three months, Blade single-handedly has given me the ability to be a Alliance War magic killer and also someone that, thanks to maxing out deep wounds, I can make almost any opponent bleed out. The only champion that I'm now looking forward to, for going for, besides Blade, even though I have a 5-star Science Awakening gem, and there looks to be a lot of Science uh, characters coming up in 2018, is Mephisto. Because Mephisto is the only character right now that can really counter the Ice Phoenix and the Uncollected, or just Iceman in general. And what you really want to do with your shards is think of it like this. I want champions that will save me revives and potions, which saves me units. If these champions aren't going to do that, then I don't care if you love them as a kid and you have all this nostalgia for them, don't go for them. It's all about functionality. So I hope this video convinced you that even though there are 5,000 more, uh, you have a 1.4% chance of getting an Iceman or an Archangel right now, even if all odds are the same. And every month, that pool is just going to keep getting bigger, which means your chance is going to get smaller. Save your shards. Uh, go for the 15k. Uh, ideally, have at least 30 to 45,000 saved up so you can have two to three cracks a minimum at the champion you want. And otherwise, just be patient. I promise you, your roster will look a lot better, or else you'll fall into the nasty habit of ending up spending your 40 or 50,000 shards, and you'll get an Ant Man, an Iron Patriot, an Iron Fist, and an Old Man Logan. And the only thing that you'll gain out of that experience is depression. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks, as always, for supporting my channel, and until next time, have a wonderful evening.